and welcome to another edition of You News, where you get You News. Our top story tonight is about the arrest of a couple allegedly responsible for the Bitfinex hack in 2016, after an on-chain movement occurred of the stolen 94,000 Bitcoin a few weeks ago. The crypto world was shocked to learn the criminal masterminds supposedly responsible for the hack include this aspiring rapper named Heather Morgan. The catfish and queen, my track's always clean. Social engineer, meet me at the pier. Sure do love to troll, show me your egg rolls. After a deeper dig into her personal history, an unconfirmed report alleges that criminal behavior is a family activity stemming from her lookalike distant relative. Twitter announced this week they will allow tipping in Ethereum. This news elated crypto Twitter, but hold on to your clear heels because a strip club in Las Vegas announced they are also accepting cryptocurrency. Prompting the newest rage in address listing, you've heard of the tramp stamp, but what about the stripper tipper? Make sure to briefly hold still after you're done making it clap. Next up, JP Morgan says regulation on crypto is necessary and that banks should assist the population with its adoption. In other unrelated news, Lions are now offering crossing guard services to help out the wildebeest. Are you also wondering, what will rich people pay for next? Well, if you feel like taking a trip this summer that's out of this world, a space balloon company is now accepting cryptocurrency as a form of payment for this sky-high tourism. Don't blow your money on JPEGs people can right-click. Just blow $125,000 in crypto on a six-hour flight in a super-high balloon from one coast of Florida to the other. But the good news is this form of space tourism for the wealthy is not shaped like a penis. Our last story tonight is one from the Old Boys Club. Charlie Munger, the 98-year-old best friend of Warren Buffett, says that crypto traders, quote, just want to get rich without doing anything for civilization, end quote. No further ideas were expounded upon about how crypto traders can help civilization from this Boomer white male who's had every opportunity in life to accrue a massive amount of wealth before banks and the stock market screwed it up, but minorities and women are patiently waiting for his sage wisdom to trickle down any day now. That's all for this week's edition of You News, where you get useless news. I'm Tupac of Coors, and up next is Sunday at Fernie's. (laughs) 